I've been working with hazelnuts for 30 years, and I eat hazelnuts all the time still. They are, if they're the right hazelnuts, they taste great, and they're really good for you. And I feel like I'm in great shape. I'm 48 years old, and I have lots of energy, and a lot of it, I think, is my diet. And if people ate more hazelnuts, but also tree nuts, I think it, it, incorporating that with a healthy diet in general, we might do something with it. I am Tom Molnar. I am currently an associate professor in the Department of Plant Biology at Rutgers University. Well, I am a plant breeder, so I study plant genetics, uh, plant propagation and horticulture, and the, the diseases of plants. Uh, so my, my research has been kind of driven by the goal of developing a tree nut industry in New Jersey. And there's been historical roadblocks to that. Uh, but through the science of plant breeding and the art of plant breeding, uh, we can use plant material sort of as tools to overcome those roadblocks, or like one of the components. Uh, so my research is to use plant breeding to develop plants that actually can grow here uh, among those challenges that had stopped it in the past. The biggest hurdle was a disease called Eastern filbert blight, which kills hazelnut trees. And historically, there's been, for over 100 years, people have tried to do this, but this disease has made it impossible. So that was really the main goal, is first search the world for resistance to this disease uh, at a level that's never been done before. And then if we find it, use plant breeding to make better plants that are adapted and can grow here. Sometimes being at the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, but also with the right perspective. Uh, I was offered a job to work with Reed Funk, who was the plant breeder here, not ever thinking for a second that I would essentially never leave Rutgers uh, and continue this project, but he, he was a visionary and he opened my eyes up to the possibility of like a single person having the potential to have a really big impact, but also thinking about how hard and how long you might have to work to get there. But if it's something that's never been done before and you can figure out the pieces of that puzzle to get there, you know, he inspired me to go for it. 